Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 40. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 28, 1973, in London, England. Translation When your religion is prominent in the family, O Krishna, the women of the family become corrupt, and from the degradation of womanhood, O descendant of Vrishni, comes unwanted progeny. This is very important point. <coughs> For good population, uh, without good population uh, in the society, gentlemen, culture, educated, <coughs> following the rules and regulations of religious principles, how we can expect peace and prosperity? This is not possible. <coughs> so the whole basic system was meant for having very good population. Not such kind of population uh, who are addicted to killing and drinking and so many other sinful activities. No, then you cannot check. If such population is there, then everything will be polluted, especially nowadays, because uh, there is one top good population and they go in the government uh, and how you can expect good government, good administration? Uh, the whole population is polluted. Therefore, in such a great state, USA, the president is being uh, tried and is being criticized. Uh, so there must be good population. Uh, so to have good population, the omen should be very chaste. That is the basic principle of Vedic civilization. And to keep the omen chaste, uh, it was the function of the responsible father, or in the absence of father, the elder brother, uh, he must get the woman, the girl, uh, married. It is compulsory. Uh, there is no compulsory for man to marry, because a man may remain brahmachari. Uh, by training he can abstain from sex. But if woman is not protected, very strictly, it is very difficult. It is very difficult. Uh, Chanakya Pandit has... It is not... It is like discussing Shastra. Don't think otherwise. <laughs> Chanakya Pandit says, Vishyasa naiva kattabhaṁ sri surāja kulesa. <coughs> Vishyasa naiva kattvam. Don't trust over. Vishyasa naiva kattvam strishu. Strishu means over. Radical and politician. Vishyasa naiva kattvam strishu radical. Never trust the politician and over. Of course, when Oman comes to Krishna consciousness, that position is different. Okay? We are speaking of ordinary Oman. Because Krishna says uh, in another place, Triyava Ishasta Thashudra, they are considered Oman, Vaishya, the mercantile community, and Sudra, <coughs> and the worker class. They are less intelligent. 
Babu Joni. When the progeny is defective, then they become less intelligent. So Krishna says, Mangi Pasha Pasitya Jeti Su Papa Juna. Sriya Vishasatha Sudra Sri Janti Parangati. Even Papa Joni degraded but even over Sudra and Vaishya, they also can become fully Krishna conscious by training and they can also go back to home, back to holiday without any check. So when we study things from material point of view, these things are to be taken care of. But when a man or woman becomes Krishna conscious, he or she takes care of herself or himself. So uh, it is spoken, Arjuna is speaking of ordinary home. Sri Su Dishtasu. Just like Adharma Kavi Bhava Adharma. If the old man is trained, a girl is trained from the very beginning, that you should remain chaste. Uh, uh, that is dharma. It is called satipta dharma. Sati means chastity. There are many uh, stories of sati, chaste of man. Naladamayanti. <coughs> his, his husband became so poverty stricken. Uh, he was king, but he became later on so poverty stricken that he had no sufficient cloth. So the husband and wife was putting on the same cloth, half and half. So still, still there was no divorce. You see? Still the woman did not consider she was also king's daughter. But the husband has fallen down to so much poverty stricken condition. So why should I leave it? These are some of the extreme examples of chastity. Not to speak of olden days, I have seen in Bombay in nineteen hundred thirty five or thirty four uh, on the roadside there was a beggar. The beggar, the face was defaced. Might be some accident. Uh, his eyes and everything became defaced. <coughs> he could not see everything we have used. So he, he was sitting on the roadside and his wife also was sitting. Uh, but I saw that beggar was neat and clean, the wife was also neat and clean. The wife's business was uh, that to keep the husband always neat and clean and fresh and bring him there and again take him at home, young woman. Uh, so I could understand that the wife is so chest. She has not left such ugly husband because his face was depressed, and helping him because they require some money. So we have seen. Uh, there are many stories uh, of chase on uh, Many stories. Uh, there was one disciple of Ramanujasa, uh, very poor. So Ramanujasa <coughs> came in that poor disciple's house and he saw uh, there was no one in the house. So he thought, what is this? This is my disciple's house, his family man. Why, well, there is none. 
That means <coughs> he could understand that the door is not locked. The door is closed only. Then uh, he could understand that within the door his wife is there. Uh, therefore he knocked the door and uh, there was response also knocking, but she could not come out. That means she, she was so poor that she had no garment. She was keeping herself within the room next. So Ramanujatpa, as, as you could understand, that there is his wife, maybe she has no sufficient clothing. So immediately his own clothes they were hidden in the room. And the woman came out putting on that. And then offered obeisance. So he could understand the position that very, very poor, even no clothing. So after putting on the cloth, he uh, went to the grocer's shop because Ramanacharya is there, she must receive uh, grocer's shop. The grocer and knew that this old man is very old man, uh, very poor. So his business was to entice her. But she never agreed. Although she was young. Now this old man went to the grocer's shop that you know that I am very poor. I require immediately some grains, ghee, and other things, my Guru Maharaj has come at home, I must see. So tonight I agree with your proposal. Please give me. Even at the sacrifice of my chastity I want. So the grocer was very glad. Oh, no, this woman I can't bust her. Tried to induce her. She never agreed. And now she is agreed. So, all I see, okay, whatever we have, okay. So she has given all kinds of food grains as much as she wanted, and she cooked and gave to the spiritual master and his associates, his, uh, his servants. Everything was very nice. In the meantime, the husband came working whole day, and he saw that uh, everything was nicely done. Uh, Guru Maharaj is paid and he just associates that paid. So he, he asked his wife, <coughs> how did you get all these things? Then she narrated the whole story. Uh, then the husband also said, yes, you have promised. All right, take some prasadam and go to him. Because you have promised to meet him this evening, uh, so go. Then the grocer uh, heard the whole story and his mind became changed. Oh, such a chaste woman, such a faithful. Oh, see, you are my mother. Uh, you take more uh, ingredients, grains, as much as you like. So there are still, that is not very long ago. So this was the training, and the psychology is that woman, uh, the first man she meets, uh, and if she is kept carefully, she becomes staunch lover. This is psychology. Uh, there is good psychology in maintaining the society. Therefore, a woman. Uh, especially in India, especially in Bengal, before attaining puberty, uh, she has married. Uh, not to meet the husband unless she attains puberty. But she remains at father's house. But she must know that I am married, I am not husband. This type of uh, Then she becomes very chaste. Because she thinks of her husband 
and becomes more and more devoted. So this arrangement uh, that uh, oh man must be married before puberty, uh, or if not at all, she must get a husband. So in this dharma, it is called konnada. Konnada. Konnada means it is uh, very obligated that the father must get the daughter married. This is dharma. So if this dharma or this religious principle is violated, that is Arjuna is marked. Adharma bhi kubhi bhava. When people become neglectful of the family tradition and religious principles, Adharma Abhi Bhava, Krishna, Pradushanti Kulaspriya. Kulaspriya. Kulaspriya means, Kula means family. And Sriya means Omen. So Omen must be belonging to a respectable family. That's what is said, Kulaspriya. Not society that. Kulaspriya. Of the family. Uh, uh, we have got experience in our school, college days. I was sitting in a friend's house and one sweeper, woman, sweeper with broomstick and uh, with what is called covering, uh, she was standing for about twenty years distant from our sitting place. So I asked my friend that your this sweeper, oh man, wants to come in. He she is waiting because we are sitting. She is uh, ashamed to come. So let us come. Uh, so we stood separately. That means although she was a sweeper, oh man, still we have to honor her uh, to enter. We stood up separately. She was feeling that how can I go between two men? And this is absent in our mind. So this is uh, Vedic culture. Women uh, should not be allowed to mix with men. Uh, not allowed. In Japan also, the same system. Before marriage you can mix. But after marriage, they cannot mix. In Japan also, I've seen. But in India, still, the system is there. Woman, without husband, cannot talk with any man. That is also psychological. In the Bhagavad, it is stated that Man is like uh, ghee, butter pot, and woman is like fire. Therefore, as, they, as soon as there is fire and butter pot, the butter pot must melt. Therefore, they should be kept aside. These are the statements. Uh, and the Shastra says that in a solitary place. You should not remain even with your daughter, even with your sister, even with your mother. Matra sastra dhitrava. Nami vitta sane vase balavan in your gama vidyam sati karsati. Either your mother or sister or daughter. No, nobody becomes lusty uh, with mother or sister or daughter. But Shastra says, even your mother or sister or daughter, you should not leave in a solitary place. Uh, then one will question, how it is possible? Uh, no. The Shastra says, Balavan in your grammar. 
the senses are so strong that it becomes polluted. Now it may be, some rascal fools may be polluted like No. Rasa, Vidam Sarutarsati. Even the most learned, he can be polluted. So sometimes, ah, in India, I am criticized that I keep women and men in the same temple. In India that is not allowed. No man can leave at night. They can come and go. But I defend myself that this is the system of the country. The women and men, the intermingle. How can I check then the woman? Shall I not give them any chance for chanting Hare Krishna? No, I shall do this chance. I shall give this chance to all men, even at the risk. That is my request. Uh, <clears throat> so therefore, uh, chastity is very, very important thing for producing good population, nice population. So unless the population is good, if the population becomes hippie, then how there can be any peace and prosperity? Therefore, to produce children, there is sanskar. First sanskar is gadharan sanskar. This is called kuladharma. Gadharan sanskar means when, especially the high caste, brahmana, khatriya, especially. Shudra, uh, not Shudra. Shudra has no sanskar. Only the higher class, Brahmana, Khatriya, and Vaishya. Uh, Vaishya also sometimes no sanskar. But Brahmana, Khatri, must have sanskar. Dasa Vita sanskar. Ten kinds of sanskar. One of the sanskar, sanskar means purificatory nekha. One of the sanskar is also marriage. Uh, one must get married. So, before the child is given birth, there is sanskar. What is called Garvadhan sanskar. It is not that the husband and wife uh, mix without any restriction and have sex life at any time. No. Uh, you know that, uh, that hmm. mother of uh, Hiranyakasipu, uh, Kastrapani, I think, father. So, she, the woman became very much sexually uh, excited. And, and the husband uh, replied that this is not time, this is very bad time, evening. Uh, why you are insisting? Uh, but she was too much lusty, and because the husband was a black, Hiranyakasipu was born. The demon was born. Uh, Therefore, there is Garvadhan sanskar to find out when the husband and wife should mix and give birth to each other. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, I will see that sex life, which is according to the principle of religious ideas, that is I am. The sex life is not bad, provided it is uh, executed according to the Religious principles. Uh, so, Bhagavadhan Sanskar, just what is the idea? The idea is the child born must be first class. Hmm. He is able to become Krishna conscious, he will be able to understand his shastras, the Vedas, he must have the good brain. These were the ideas. Uh, but if they are not born in that way, like cats and dogs, that is called varna saṅkara, varna saṅkara. You cannot ah, specify whether he is a brāhmaṇa or a khatriya or a vaiṣya and sūdhya. That is called varna saṅkara. So varna saṅkara population is not good. Varna saṅkara. No caste. No, uh, no definition to which class this man belongs. 
So at the present moment, because these purificatory processes are not accepted, even in India, except in their animal, everything has topsy-turvy. Therefore, this Hastra says that accept everyone as Sudra, Kalo Sudra Sambhava. There is no more Brahmin, Chatriya, Vaishya, all Sudras. You have to accept. Uh, because no Vedic culture, no Gurbhana and Sanskrit, uh, they are born like cats and dogs. So where is this division? They cannot be. Therefore, accept them as Sudra. Varna uh, Sankar is less than Sudra. Uh, so at least Sudra they should be. So there is no Vedic Dikha. For Sudra there is no Dikha, there is no initiation. See, initiation is meant for the persons who are born in Brahmana family, Chatriya family, or Vaishya family. The Sudra has no initiation. So in India there are professional gurus. They initiate Sudras, but do not eat food stuff touched by the disciples. So there are so many things. So if he is initiated, how he can remain Sudra? But they keep him Sudra. At the same time, they become Guru. So Sanatana Goswami gives direction in the Hari Bhakti Vilas that tathādikkhādhāne na vijattam jāyate ne na. He is properly initiated. He becomes immediately Brahma. Vijatyam. Vidya means second birth. Jatha kāṁsana kāṁ jāti kāṁsa raso vidhānata. There is a chemical process that kāṁsa, bell metal, can be turned into go by mixing with proportionality mercury. Now here is a hint of chemistry. If anyone can prepare go, but it is very difficult to mix mercury. Uh, as soon as there is little heat, immediately the mercury is finished. Uh, so there is a process. Uh, everything has process. Many yogis know how to make gold from copper. Uh, actually, uh, chemically, copper, tin, and mercury, if you mix proportionately, it will be gold. So, Sanatana Goswami, uh, gives this example uh, as the uh, copper and tin. Uh, these two metals mixed with mercury, there can be production of gold. Similarly, by proper initiation, by the proper spiritual master, one, Sudra, even though he is a Sudra less than Sudra, Varnasaṅka, a Chandala, he can become Vijo, Brahma. So our process is to make Vijo Pancharatriki Viji. Pancharatriki Viji. That is Vekamanda. Suti Sriti Puranadi Pancharatriki Viji Vina. Uikantiki Hare Bhakti Utpatai Vakalpati. Rupa Goswami gives this direction that the initiation must be done according to śruti, śruti or pāṅśara. There is nāya-prasthāṁ, śruti-prasthāṁ and śmṛti-prasthāṁ to make spiritual progress in three ways, by the Vedānta philosophy or Vedic ways or according to śmṛti. Śmṛti means authorized book written in accordance to the śruti. Sutishthiti. Just like Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is not directly Veda, but the, all the stanzas of Bhagavad Gita, they are strictly according to the Naya uh, Prasthan and Sutit Prasthan. So any book which is strictly written according to the Vedas and Vedantas, that is also accepted as Vedic literature. Uh, so Pāṅśarātriki vidhi means that it doesn't matter whether man is śūdra 
Oh, Chandala. Chandala means less than Sudra, Panchama, the fifth grade. Uh, first class Brahmana, second class Kshatriya, third class Vaishya, fourth class Sudra, and below this fourth class they are all Chandala. Uh, Chandala means Panchama. Uh, untouchable. They are called untouchable. So, in the untouchables, because Krishna has said, man hi parts of the past sitta jeti su papujana. The papujana is chandal means papujana, born of low grade family. The Bhagavad says, Sukhdeva Goswami says that kirata hu nam the pulinda pukkasa ahira sumbha javana kasadhya. Javana, mritsa javan. They are called. They are also counted among the chandalas. Uh, uh, jit, jinni to papa, and even lower than that. Jinni to papa. Suddhanti, they become to be part. How? Prabhavishna Vinama, when they are initiated to become Krishna conscious. Uh, so if one may argue, how it is possible to make a chandala a hey, Vaishnava? No, that is possible. Uh, Prabhu Vishnu Venava. Vishnu is so powerful, omnipotent, he can do that. So only by Vishnu mantra, by becoming a Vaishnava, one can transcend all these restrictions. Uh, sociology, you can understand. Uh, that is confirmed by Krishna. Manchabhya vicharini bhakti yogena jasivati. Sagunan samatitta itan brahma bhuya arval. Immediately. Uh, he transcends. He is in the brahma platform. Uh, one who has taken very seriously this devotional service. He is no more on this material platform. So long we are in the material platform, these distinctions, Brahman, Jatri, Vaisya, Bhanda, Shankar, they are considered. But when one is transcendentally situated, Simply in pure, unalloyed service of the Lord. He is no more in the material platform. He is in the spiritual platform. Brahma Bhuya uh, He is all in the Brahma platform. Brahma platform means Sabunana Samutipta Eta. Uh, this material platform means three modes of material nature. Satagon, Rajagon, Tamagon. Uh, here in one is Brahmana. Satagon means the Brahminical qualification. He is also contaminated. He is also contaminated. He is conditioned by the material nature. And what to speak of Sudra and Varna Shankara. Everyone is conditioned uh, by the material nature. They live this Aguna way. Well, Brahmana means to be situated. A first class prisoner. A first class prisoner is also prisoner. Uh, you cannot say that he is free. No. Free is different from a first class prisoner. Sometimes any respectable gentleman, some political offense, he is put into jail. Just like Gandhi also went to jail and so many others. But they are given the place, first class prisoners. They got servant, they got separate bungalow and books, library, all facilities, but they cannot go out of it. They are called first class prisoners. So, to become a brāhmaṇā means to become a first-class prisoner. Yes. So our, our point of view is not to become a first-class prisoner, to get out of the prison. That is position of prison. He will find, uh, last night I have given comments, the Madhavendra Puri, he was performing the Annapur ceremony and installing the deity. So everything was being Brahmana, done by Brahmana, qualified Brahmana. But uh, Madhavandra Puri initiated them again to become Vaishnava. Then he gave them in charge of the deity was. Uh, so the Vaishnava uh, functions cannot be done even by a Brahman. 
even one is qualified Brahmana. Uh, he is unfit to propagate Vaishnava philosophy. Uh, that is stated in the Shastra. Sakkarma nipuna vipra mantra tantra visharada. O Vaishnava guru nasasyat. Sad Vaishnava sapachu guru. Sapachu means chandala. Uh, who is eating dog. That is considered the lowest. Uh, there are different kinds of meat eaters. Uh, but in India, the cow flesh eaters are dull. Some of them are eating hogs, even dogs, but there was no, no government will not allow to eat the cow flesh, no. That's not. If you want to eat flesh, you can eat house and dogs and other goats also. But you cannot touch uh, a cow. This is restriction. First of all, they should not be meat eater. But if you are a staunch meat eater, then you cannot touch cow. You can eat some other animal. Uh, that is sapacha. Sapacha means the dog eater. Uh, in Korea, and some parts of them, they eat dogs. Uh, they, uh, they sell dog flesh publicly. Uh, so in India also there is a class in Assam side, they eat also dog. So the dog eaters, they are considered lowest of the mankind. So there is a sapacha. Sa means dog, and pacha means who cook. Sapacha means chanda. They will, if a man from this Hapacha family or the Chandala family, he becomes a Vaishnava strictly according to the orders, uh, then he can become guru. But not a Brahmana if he is not a Vaishnava. This is the stiction. Even one is born in the family of a Brahmana and he is not only born, he is qualified. Satkarma nipuna. Nipuna means qualified. Uh, Brahmana has got six kinds of occupation. Uh, he must be learned himself. He must be able to teach others Vedic literature. That is called pathan or pathan. Then he must worship. Uh, worship means demigods. Uh, or they consider that any demigod or god the same. Some impersonalist. So, jajana jajana. There are other also religious ritual functions they perform. That is called jajana. Uh, jajana jajana and dana pratigraha. Uh, Brahmana takes contribution. A Brahman is never engaged in service uh, like Sudra. That is Sudra is So, these are called dharma. There are so many. Uh, departmental dharma. So Arjuna is referring to this. Yes, adharma vibhava Krishna. When these principles are sacrificed and there is uh, an opening of adharma, easiest principles, then the result will be adharma vibhava Krishna pradushanti kulasriya. Uh, then the, the stricture will be withdrawn and the family omen, an omen, they will be polluted. Uh, and as soon as the omen uh, is polluted, Sri Sudhishtasu, the omen is polluted, Vrasnaya, my dear Krishna, Jayati Varna Sankara, then the whole population will be Varna Sankara. 